Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so this is going to be a quick video. Um, just wanted to give you guys my thoughts. I've been seeing some posts lately about Labyrinth, the board game miniatures game, um, coming up on Facebook lately. This is a game that's supposed to be put out by River Horse Games. Um, they partner with some other companies. I know they've done um, some stuff for Mantis and some other games. The One of the games that they have under their own uh, stable is Terminator Genesis. That's a miniatures game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't have a lot of hope for the Labyrinth game. Um, this company, <coughs> when they're doing things for other companies, it's great. It's a really awesome product that they put out. Their own products have been subpar and overpriced. Um, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie guys. Uh, the Terminator game I've played it a couple of times. It's not anything special. It's not anything great. The miniatures, I'll put in a couple of pictures of the minis. Um, they're nothing exciting. They're nothing that just pops out at you and wow, especially for the price that you're paying for the game. It's super overpriced and super just disappointing with what you get in the package. They're not any fun to paint. I haven't seen anyone paint them or even actually do anything with them besides play them out of the box because they're not fun models to paint. They're not well made. They're not done. And the only thing that I've ever seen that involved the minis being painted was when they used them in their website for promotional stuff. Otherwise, it's just, I mean, they're genetic, they're generic shit models, guys. So as far as the Labyrinth hype goes, I really want to jump on that train and be there with everybody and kind of go nuts over it and be all, oh my god, I'm super fanboy, ah. and I'm not going to lie, I joined the Facebook group and the Facebook group has turned to shit. You got a bunch of fans putting up really shitty tattoos, putting up their shit art, their shit homemade products that they ordered, their shit. It's not even about the game, it's about people showing off their shit. I can wipe my ass and show you shit and oh my god it's in the form of Jared is basically where we're at now with this the board game group I've been a member of it for two days has devolved to shit so I'm not really having a lot of hope especially with this company if this was Mantic putting this out or one of the other games one of the other companies uh cool mini or not with their line of products any other company even weird if they were putting this out I would be all over this. I would be so excited about this. I'd be jumping up and down, be the first guy on the pledge level for the Kickstarter, whatever. I honestly feel like this is just going to be a money grab. It's something where they're going to make a shit generic product. Everyone's going to buy it because they've got loyalty to the product and the brand. And that's it. There's going to be no one that plays the game. They're just going to buy it for the collectability of the minis, and that's what they're going to prey on, and they know that that's what people are going to go for you're not going to go and get anything spectacular. It's just not going to happen. It's going to be a really shitty generic product. I was really excited when I found out Terminator was getting a game. And then when I saw the models, and I saw the gameplay, and I played it, and I saw it, this is shit. So I'm sorry, Riverhurst. When you guys work with other people, and you put other people's products out, and you're the company that people market through, and and get things made through, you guys do a great job. But as far as on your own, I have not seen anything exciting. I mean, I'm looking through their website right now. <sighs> their own products, I've never even heard of Turanga, or Shuro, or Loka. I've never heard of these three games. So, the only game that I've heard of on their website is Terminator Genesis, the miniatures game. And I don't have a lot of hope. It's, it's a shit product they put out, guys. So I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm not going to go fanboy on this. I'm going to accept the fact that we're getting a shit product. They're going to prey on people's nostalgia for a movie and memories that they have. And we're going to continue to see shitty tattoos and shitty homemade products for this thing until it finally drops. It's probably going to be kickstarted or crowdfunded in some way. And you're going to get shit. It's going to be an insanely expensive product that's probably going to deliver late on top of that, and you're going to get shit. You're probably going to get a few of those professional painters or the pro painter guys that are going to do an amazing job with these things and paint them and make these shit models look good. Don't hold your breath, though. I'm not. I'm not going to hold my breath, and I'm sorry, but I can't just jump on the hype train. I'll believe it when I see it or when I get some gameplay or some test, some play instructions I can use, but... 
I'm not going to see this. I, I think the Labyrinth is going to be a shit game and we're going to get a shit product. And they're going to prey upon us as consumers because we have nostalgia for something that was amazing and that was great. And that's all we're going to get, guys. So, let me know what you think. Drop me a line. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm full of shit. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I will tell you this, guys. If I'm full of shit and this is like an amazing product they put out, an amazing game, and this thing gets rave reviews everywhere and it's not just purely a nostalgia thing, it's an actual true to god this thing is amazing i'll eat my words and i'll give away one version of the game i'll purchase the game myself give it to you because i'm going to eat my words and prove that i was wrong but i feel pretty strongly that we're going to get a ship product and that's all it's going to be guys so let me know what you think give me some feedback talk to you later guys oh check out did you check out the new intro my eldest son uh, Kirby Block, that's his YouTube channel, or his handle, he actually made the intro for this video. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, whatever, tell me I'm an idiot, but we'll see what happens. Bye.